All right, everybody, welcome back. So I got another couple knives for you. I know they look the same, but they're not. So let's talk blades, because that's what we're into. Today, I am featuring another Benchmade knife, but alongside it, I am also doing a Gonzo Tools knife. One's a fake, one's the real thing. Um, all I really got to say about it is I purchased it a while back, and I can tell you that the real one and the fake one they're about the same, it's just different materials. So this one right here is the H and K, stands for Heckler and Coke. This is 154 CM steel. And if you look, it has the H and K logo on there. 154 CM right next to the pivot. This is a USA made knife, and yes, that is real G10 handle scales. On the fake, on the other hand, which is this guy right here, is the Gonzo. This thing costed me less than 30 bucks. I want to say about like 20 to 25 bucks on this guy. Exactly same. This is the exact same thing, but I got to tell you, they almost look identical. The same exact knife. They're not. So you got one that says Gonzo, you got one that says H&K, but this is Benchmade. Funny and ironic thing, Benchmade logo here, Benchmade pocket clip on this fake right here, which I think is hilarious, but hey Whatever they need to do, right? You got open pillar construction, so it's easy for cleanup on both of them The only thing is like I said 440 stainless steel so cheaper steel on this and then 154 cm on this half serrations no serrations I actually kind of like carrying this knife. Uh, to be honest with you, it's it's not it's not one of those knives that I would just freak out if something happened to it. This is a cheap knife. You get a full grip on there. It's just uh, you know a little bit of a shorter blade. If that doesn't bother you, then hey. And then of course you got the uh, the jimping right here on the back of the spine, which always helps. Got that saber grip. The choil right here helps for grip. And of course being gonzo why did they take the access lock i think that's hilarious that they're using the access lock that's the same exact thing that's on this one this one's a lot smoother obviously because it's a real thing but i gotta be honest with you i can carry this all day and still feel the same exact way if i were to be carrying this one so if you're able to find this, because I ended up buying this a long time ago, this was a little expensive. It was a little over 200 bucks. Like I said, this one, the Gonzo Firebird. There's their little crappy Firebird logo right there. If you don't mind spending like 30 bucks on something that, you know, looks like a $200 knife, why not? Like I said, it's a good knife. So it's up to you. Let's go into specs so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. And yes, you do get the cotton sleeves that they come in. Your little Firebird logo on the back there. And then, of course, you got the H and K on here. But it doesn't say Benchmade. It's just H and K. So let's go ahead and check out the weight. So on the fake, comes out to 5.21 ounces. And on the reel, you're looking at five ounces even. A little weird. That's the weight. Let's go ahead and do the size. Put them both lined up together so you guys can see. Three and a half inch blade and three and a half inch blade. Overall eight inches and overall eight inches. So it's the same exact thing. It's just one's made, you know, different companies steel liners on the g10 for the real benchmade heckler and coke and the steel liners and plastic handle scales on the fake so if you're wondering about that let's go ahead and get to the thickness here it is on the handle you're looking at 12.0 millimeters and on the blade you're looking at 3.6 millimeters Go to the Gonzo and we'll do the same exact thing. I'm pretty sure they're about the same. 13.4 millimeters on the handle, 3.4 millimeters on the blade. So, uh, probably wondering how sharp are they? 
bust out the paper here. So here's the real one. Not catching, hold on, sorry. Trying to get this on camera. Pretty sharp. That's the real one. Let's go to Fakey McFakinson. Try that out. So, about the same. Like I said, 440 stainless, 154 cm. It just depends on how you want your blade and what steel you want it in. So, if it's up to me, this one would be the one that I'd baby and put away and look at and awe and pet and all that. This would be the one that I would carry on me and beat up and slice and stab and freaking whatever with it. Good knife. It's a little on the wide side for me though, but hey, that doesn't really bother me too much. I really do like the access lock on this, even though it's... I don't think they call it the access lock on this. But I just find it a little funny that they took the access lock, the company Gonzo, and decided to put it on most, if not all, of their knives. So I do find it very attractive, but I also think <laughs> they could have gone about it a different way. It's like they were trying to steal somebody's design. So, I don't know. Um, I think that's... Ah, oh, man, they're both almost just the exact same. This one's like a matte finish. This one's just a little bit more of a shinier finish on, on the blade. This one's obviously China. This one's USA. So, you know, each two is on. But, like I said, if it doesn't bother you, why not get the cheap one over the more expensive The more that I play around with each of these, I can tell you that the, the real deal right here, the opening is a lot smoother, and the locking mechanism is, it reacts a lot better, and I'm just overall, it, it, it's easier to get to. On the fake, the more that I mess around with this thing, the more I can tell that it just feels very much like it wants to be the access lock, and it does, but... The spring on this is a little bit harder, or it just it has a little bit more of, I don't know, it just feels, feels a little bit more stiffer in my opinion, I guess. Like the spring is a little bit more aggressive. I don't know. I can play around with it all day and still get a kick out of how the locking mechanism works. I just think it's hilarious that because this is basically the same exact um, devil tail or dragon tail, spear tail kind of pocket clip, you know, that Benchmade normally has. And they put it on the Gonzo knife. So I think Gonzo's trying to, I don't know, compensate for something. I'm not sure. I'm not saying that Gonzo is, an, is not a good company. I'm saying that uh, a lot of their stuff... If you're looking for an expensive model, Gonzo might more than likely just have it. I have a few other Gonzos in my collection uh, that I would like to get at too that are basically just cheaper versions of more expensive model knives from Benchmade. I just, at least in my opinion. And maybe some Spider Co. might be stuck in there somewhere. But I don't know. We'll check it out. But this is one of the first Gonzos in my channel that I kind of really just wanted to get to because I have the real one right here. And having this one right next to it, it's it's just... I don't know. They did a really good job. It's up to you. I mean, if you guys can find it, good on you. But uh, the H&K is going to be really difficult to find. If you do find it, it's going to not be cheap. But hey, go with Gonzo if you want to do cheap get the knife that you really need or want without having to spend you know drop two three hundred bucks on it so i don't know see you guys in the next one thanks a bunch